Before this vlog start, I want to tell y'all something. Protect yourself at all time. Whether you a teenager, whether you in your early 20s, you feel me? Late 20s, 30s, whatever. You just out here dating, protect yourself at all time. Think about it like boxing. You feel me? Because guess what? People ain't running around here with, with facts. Ain't no put facts. Ain't no dick facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't no paperwork for you to check before you get it in. So you got to do what you got to do to protect yourself. You feel me? You might hit something raw or you might get ahead or whatever. And seven days from now, it like you, you pissing hab habanero sauce. You got the flamethrower. It's the swim team in the building. I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad. Got my boy Dominican Greg in the building, you know what I'm saying? AKA Young Goya Beans and Rice. Eh? So I know y'all have seen my boy Greg before. Now, the crazy thing about my boy Greg, I met Greg when he was 16. I met him my second year of college. And the conversation we about to have is a conversation that I never thought me and my boy Goya would be having. Simply because he was a little green around the edges. I'm talking about my boy used to work at Publix, he used to come to my crib. I'd be like, yo, Greg, where the, where the hoes at? What's going on? Like, yo, I'm tired, man. Be like, yo, Greg, when the last time you got something, son? What's going on? I seen the way you looking at shorty. It looked like you was finna take it. I'm a little scared. I got something lined up. Don't even worry about it. I got something lined up. So now, Damn near 10 years later, we having conversations like we about to have, you feel me? And, and I'm proud. It's the wrong reason to be proud, but I'm proud. I was telling Danae this joint, but tell me if this is disrespectful, right? You know me and hubby talking about whatever. Hold on, I gotta get your reaction. So one time, this chick came to my crib. And you feel me? It's this about to chick go. came to your crib? Oh, this is a This is, yeah, this is a long time oh, okay. ago. Why would I tell my wife about a chick coming to the crib? You said you was about to get disrespectful, so I was like... All right, you right. You, you right. I, I can see. I can see. I can see where you can feel like that. All right. So this happened like in high school, right, bro? Okay. So this joint came to the crib, right? I don't know if I told you how like I don't like getting a wop like that unprotected. So I went to you the store. Did say that's a yeah. Problem. So I went to the store, right? And I got like three flavor condoms. <laughs> and, I, and she was looking at me like, "What you doing?" I was like, I mean, you about to do, you know what I'm saying? You finna give me the wop. So I went and got some condoms. Was that disrespectful? Nah, what was you protecting yourself? Oh, all right. I'm gonna tell you how this started, okay? So we had like a sex ed class in uh, junior high school and they showed us a picture of somebody meat and it looked like a cauliflower. Now that's that's when my, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm strapping up. No matter what I'm doing, I'm strapping up. But then it got even worse as I learned about like herpes and how like it stayed with you and all that. Not to mention the joint, I forgot the name of it. I think it's like syphilis or chlamydia where you get like the, um, I call it the Ghostbusters goo. You know what I'm saying? Like your joint, your joint start leaking. All of that put together, nah, wrap it up no matter what. She might come with that wagon, but that, that wagon might be carrying some, some extra load that you don't know about. Right? That's not disrespectful. I don't know, bro. Like, you remember, um... You should... I mean, you should be that way, but... <clears throat> yeah, you should be that way. Right? You should. I mean, I... I, I, I as I got I mean, old... As I, I got mean, older, you know what I'm saying? I, I switched up a little bit. But I still... It's a lot of WAP situations that I deny. Based on the fact that, you know, I was just... I only deny WAP for one... Just because I was like... Nah. You deny WAP? What was wrong with her? Stripper, bro. Fuck this was doing. Stop cursing, it's PG-13. We trying to help the young the young brothers out. She was an uh, exotic dancer. I'm so you calling her all types of bitches and hoes, like come on now. She was an exotic dancer, so I didn't know what she was doing with her life. Just cause she's an exotic dancer, that don't mean she's just out here licking balls for, for cash, bro. I don't know about all that. Bro. See what I'm saying, you can't, be, you can't be doing that, bro. Some of these women just dance because they, they like to dance. Yeah, that's true, but... Uh, Some of them like dance to pay their they college tuition. Some of them dance for fun. Like, you can't just you can't just do that, right? You can't just do that. Everybody, just, everybody has a price. Everybody has Especially a price. Especially if you're already exotic dance, ex, doing exotic dances for money. If somebody comes with you at the right price, you probably going to let them hit, too. Is what it is, bro. Oh, you a savage. Look, let me tell you something. If you in the in the comment section or you looking at this video, you're an exotic dancer, 
go ahead and get your money, ma. Like, it ain't, it ain't even that serious. Don't listen to dudes like this. <laughs> Who's trying to judge you. I'm not judging. I'm just trying to throw you in a box. It's, it's like, it's come fake. on. It's just facts. What you mean it's facts? How many strippers you know that are hoes? I, I don't know. Exactly. I don't know too many, I, 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 I don't know too many exotic, exotic dancers. I only knew that one. That one? Let me ask you a question. Was, was it five? Oh, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was top notch, boy. It was top notch? She, 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 was a, she was a cream pot. She was a cream pot. Yeah. She had that, she had that cream box. She was crazy. She man. had that lotion. She had that lotion. Yep. That that's cocoa perfect, butter. That's the perfect way to put it. Let's say less. Tell you? And you ain't get the wop. So she had she her joint was fire, and you ain't get the wop. Nah, dog, I wasn't doing it. Her wop was probably crazy. It might have been. Probably was, but I didn't want to. It might have been like on, on par with Superhead. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna get it. I'm not, I if I wear he's a condom, he's stu he's stuttering, if I wear a condom, I feel like I'm defeating the purpose to get the wop. So like I'm. Let not me tell y'all something. When they start stuttering, he got the wop. He lying. Nah, nah, nah. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't get the wop for real? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Like you literally denied getting the wop from a stripper? Yes. I, okay, I'm not gonna say she she didn't initiate it, but I know I could have got it. I never tried to. Get it. So do you not? You didn't deny it. You don't want to hit nothing raw because there's a chance that you can get somebody pregnant. Or you can catch HIV, just catch a STDs in general. That's what we always think about. Like I'm not, I'm gonna strap up when I hit. But at the same time, you don't know where these people mouth been. Like bro, I have countless stories of where joints like came to the crib, try to kiss me, and I'm hitting them with the Matrix. Like yo, whoa, hey, hey. And I, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell y'all ladies something too. Us as men, like we might have our, our circle of friends and we sit back and, and we carry conversations. Men talk, like we, dudes talk. During these conversations, we might we might bring you up and it might be a chance that depending on how free you are with your box, me and one of my other mans might have cracked, right? So it might be a situation where my mans might come out and be like, Yo. did you get the what? Cause this is happening a few times. And I'd be like, nah. I'd be like, what? You ain't get the, are you crazy? Bro, you should've got the wop. Her joint is A1. I feel bad for the for the time being, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't get the wop, because I know the type of dude you are. So if she wopped you off, I don't know what you got. She might have gave it to me. That's how that's how I be looking at it, son. I ain't gonna say like I I haven't, because there have been times where I slipped up and I did get the wop from from a joint or whatever. But Majority of the time, I wasn't trying to. Like, I'll get the box, and that's it. That's, that's it. And then to me too, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm just, I don't like, I don't throw my business out there, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I don't wanna throw my business out there. You feel what I'm saying? We just, we just gonna leave it at that. But, you gotta be careful, son. You got to be careful, like, you can, having intercourse isn't the only way you can catch something, like, you can, you can deadass catch something, like, off of somebody's mouth, you feel me, like, if shorty got a cut in her mouth, and she give you the wop, and let's say she had HIV, you can catch it like that, too. Dealing with these random girls. Then the type of situation I was in, I was, I was talking to these joints for like a week, two weeks, and then like I'm in their guts. So you, I don't know you like that. Off of me talking to you for a week, two weeks, I don't know you. You look clean, but that don't mean you clean. I don't know what you got. I'm not finna. You know what? We about to do the. We about to do the situation. But let me see your paperwork. Like I'm not. I'm not sitting there checking paperwork. Everybody isn't walking around here with paperwork that you can be like, that, that you can just look and be like, oh, you got tested two days ago, and it says you was clean. Okay. All right, she got tested two days ago. Well, what happened four or five hours before she came to your crib? She, she might have did something. That's how I be looking at it. So I'm, I'm being honest with y'all, man. Like, you got to be careful. You got to protect yourself at all times. Think about it like boxing. Protect yourself at all times. You got to keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. Stop kissing these random ass females. You know what? I'm not even going to be that. Could me just pertaining to like, to, 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 to the dudes. 
Cause I know I got women on my channel too. Stop kissing these random ass people. Stop giving head to random ass people. And you know what I'm saying? Stop eating random Like bro, I remember I was talking to this chick, right? At the time, you be honest, she's like, oh, I'm talking to this person, I'm talking to this person or whatever. And like, one of the dudes she was talking to, dude was like, yo, what you doing right now? Like, I just wanna come eat your My boy said he just wanna come eat her Even my wife, my wife said when, when she was single or whatever, like, some dude literally went, came over there just to eat her box. He came over there just to eat her box, bro, and I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. It's dudes that's into stuff like that. Me, I'm not into stuff like that. First off, first the hell off, Batman no yam no bomba clock poom poom. I'm lying like hell. Y'all think I'd be married if I was in the yam the pooms? <laughs> I'm lying like hell, but nah, I wasn't eating no random ass box though. Like, come on, son. Y'all dudes out here tripping. Tripping, bro.